St. Louis tops the state and is above the national average when it comes to firearms being brought into airports. Now, First Lord 4 is putting your safety into focus. Our Susan Alcori examines upgrades at Lambert as TSA sees more guns carried through security. Oh my God. Shots fired, shots fired. Where exactly? Inside the airport. Panic as passengers run for their lives. It's November 2021 inside the Atlanta airport. Someone just fired a gun. We have an active shooter inside the airport, so we need everybody to stay clear. Body camera and surveillance video give a view of what happened. Kenny Wells, a convicted felon, brought a loaded gun through security. A TSA officer is going through his bag. He grabbed the gun in the bag and took off. As Wells went for the gun here, it fired. He ran, blending in with passengers rushing outside. How did he get by over here before we get the gun out of the bag? Wells' bag was flagged for secondary screening. The TSA agent checks it on a table right in front of him, leaving it wide open to get the gun. It's putting a spotlight on safety at a time when TSA says they're breaking records for the number of guns found at airports nationwide. Last year, agents came across more than 6,500, most of them loaded. In St. Louis at Lambert International, they're finding an average of two guns a week. What we always hear is, I forgot. Helping put Missouri at more than double the national rate when it comes to the number of guns carried into airport security. Looks like it's going to be another record year, unfortunately. Angela Brooks is the state director for Missouri TSA. We met her at Lambert, where you can see and hear. Please check carry-on baggage for firearms. Plenty of warnings. The way it's supposed to work, when a bag rolls into the x-ray machine for a scan, if agents spot a potential weapon like a gun, they hold it here and call police. The bag can only move out when officers are waiting on the other side. We'll take it out of the machine as it comes off that slide belt there and it's immediate, so there's nowhere else for it to go. No one else has the opportunity to touch it. Lambert's police chief, William Collins, says his officers should be the only ones opening those bags. What is being done to ensure that someone's hands don't get back on a potentially loaded gun? When the TSA discovers that weapon in the machine, it's a silent alarm so the passenger is not aware that the alarm's even been set or that his bag is under suspicion. So that type of thing shouldn't happen where we're trying to look for a bag in front of the passenger. We want that weapon secured. In the Atlanta shooting, TSA says they didn't realize there was a gun, but the bag was flagged for secondary screening. That's standard when agents suspect a prohibited item like a water bottle. The bag gets pulled from the main line for agents to open and check. In most airports, it's done on a table in front of the passenger. We put up some plexiglass after the shooting so that people can't just reach in and grab their bag. TSA made some changes. Every airport did that differently. It wasn't a standard issue. Across the country, barriers aren't at every security line, and they're not all the same. Some have openings at hand level, like this one in Atlanta, at the same terminal where a passenger grabbed a gun. In St. Louis at Terminal 1, we found full-length barriers with gaps large enough passengers could stand next to and even reach over to their bags. Is it something that they could reach around and still potentially grab? We have it. It's a long enough thing that they most likely can't get the bag where it would stop. While TSA uses them, for police, it's another story. We don't use the back table. We have a separate area. We try to use it out of the public view. He says it all comes down to TSA making sure a weapon doesn't slip out of the machine because once officers are there, they don't check the bag in front of passengers. In every case, that weapon is detected in the x-ray. It stays in the x-ray. Are there cases where the bag would go out? We would hope in every case it stays there. TSA does have a good procedure. They follow. Our Susan L. Corey joining us now here at the desk as we put TSA security into focus. And Susan, we saw in the case in the TSA down in Atlanta, they flagged the bag for screening, but didn't realize that there was a gun inside. So 
It ended up in the secondary security. My question is, has that happened here in St. Louis at Lambert? Yeah, and that's one of the things that we wanted to know. We asked airport police. We also asked TSA here. Both of them tell us that has never happened in St. Louis. The goal is always to have that bag checked. If they just suspect there's a weapon on there, it stays inside of the x-ray machine and it does not leave that machine until police are there and then police are the ones who then check it so it wouldn't ever make it to one of those secondary screening tables like you saw in the Atlanta case. And some of the details from the story that we just saw, those numbers that you reported on average TSA at Lambert finding two guns a week. To me, it seems like a lot, especially here we are in 2023. I think, you know, people, you don't bring guns into an airport. How is this happening? We asked that about TSA and they said one of the things that they're constantly hearing from people is, hey, I forgot. I didn't realize that this gun was still in my bag. They made a comment that it seems like in states that have open carry policies, people are just used to having it on them. So they when they're going into security, they, it's one of the things that they're bringing with them through the airport. We also looked, though, you know, how does St. Louis stack up? to the rest of the state. Are we seeing more guns here? And St. Louis does lead Missouri. We're seeing more guns being brought through Lambert. Kansas City, though, they're coming in pretty close afterwards at 92. Down in Springfield, that number of guns that they've detected, that's 20. And then it continues to go down. Columbia, only three. And Joplin, just one gun. But Lambert definitely leading the state when it comes to the number of guns being brought through security. If it is a situation where you bring a gun through security, what happens next? Are there penalties and are you still allowed to board that flight? That's a great question. Police told us it's really a case by case basis. So a couple things can happen. TSA can hand out civil penalties, which can cost you up to $15,000. And then depending on where you're from, if you're a resident, if you're legally allowed to have that gun, police will then kind of take it from there. There are cases where people are allowed to take their gun and put it in a secure place and then get on that flight, they will have to go through some enhanced TSA security, but it's really just a case by case basis on what happens next. And of course, you know, you could be looking at a really big fine there. So definitely something yeah. to keep in mind. And again, it's happening twice a week, just at Lambert alone. So something that uh, it's good to keep in focus here. All right, Susan, thank you. And you might be wondering at home, how does St. Louis shape up with other big cities? Well, so far this year, TSA at Lambert has seen 72 firearms, which is nowhere near the 315 Atlanta has seen so far. Nashville, as you see there, also in triple digits with 134. Kansas City a little closer to us with 65.